Hey there, PCA members. Welcome back to PCA headquarters. We're in the garage again. Uh, the last video, what we did was we installed Cayman spars, LED spars, to sort of give that car a more modern look. Well, this week, we're gonna go backwards. We're gonna actually add a classic look to your modern Porsche. You, don't, you probably don't give much thought to this product on your car. You step on it, it actually has the most real estate in your interior, and of course, I'm talking about the floor mats. There are a couple of options that you can consider, the factory mats or aftermarket mats. And today we're gonna to meet Coca Mats, a longtime Porsche Panorama advertiser that's gonna show us what they have in terms of colors, quality, and fitments for your needs. Okay, we're here with Drew Fithian with CocoMats.com. Now, Drew, this is what came in my Porsche. Yep, and you know, you. factory mats. Um, worn out. Uh, what I what I was looking for was something to protect the floor a little bit more. Um, this is this is my Cayenne family. Three little kids, making mm -hmm. sure the Cheerios and all the the fruit punch doesn't go into uh, the carpets. Right. So I was looking to upgrade um, my mats, and honestly, I didn't really think about Coco mats until I saw the advertisement in Panorama. I, you know, Coco mats for me goes back to the 70s and 80s. Right, and even right. in, in the 60s with the 356s, with the 911s, um, even my uncle's Scirocco had Coco yeah, mats. And I remember right. them and they're like, that's kind of cool. Retro, um, but more importantly, the more I talked with you about you know the purpose and how durable they are. And also, they've evolved. Most people think Coco mats from the 70s and 60s, the way they were made, they, they had some issues on their own. Right, right. But the, the newer versions that you're making now kind of take it up to the next level. Absolutely. So what we wanted to do is show you probably the advantages of the Coco mats that mm -hmm. you have. Um, you know, the personal flair that you could add with the combinations, mm -hmm. the different types of uh, material that you can choose from. Again, I didn't really know I had these many options with floor mats. I'm thinking black, blue, rubber mats, whatever. But here, here, if you can see, um, True came up with a lot of different options. So we're gonna talk about it. Okay. So here we go, Drew. Tell me about this mat. Oh yeah, let's bring this over here. Well, mainly, uh, you know, what, uh, what most people think is that, uh, like you said, when it comes down to I need to replace my factory mats or I'm not happy with my factory mats that came with my you know, brand new Porsche 997 or like your Cayenne, uh, what options do I have? You know, you have your rubber mats. Excellent for their purpose, but aesthetically just not very pleasing. Black rubber, scuffs up when you touch it, whatever else. Uh, what we do is we create custom mats for cars. Um, any year, any make, any model, but definitely have a concentration on Porsche vehicles being the, uh, the heritage of Coco mats in general, going all the way back to the 50s. In fact, uh, original Coco mats were made to, uh, to fit in the Porsches that had rubber floors. Uh, the original ones didn't have any of our rubber backing that we use on our mats. And the idea was that basically dirt would fall from the top of the mats, down to the bottom, through the mats, onto the rubber floors, they pick up their, their uh, Coco mats, sweep out their floors, put their mats back in, they're back in action. Now, a lot of the problems that those original mats had was that they would lose their kind of conformity. Uh, without that rubber backing on there, they'd slip around, they'd slide around, the material would fray and everything else. And basically what we did is we kind of revolutionized and brought that whole process up to kind of a new, new age, something that's comparable to what you'd expect to see in your Cayenne or your 997 or 991. Um, what we do is uh, we have an all natural cocoa mat right here. Um, the main advantage being that we do install a really heavy duty nibbed backing to all of our mats. Um, the heel pad we use is an extra heavy duty thick rubber heel pad. Uh, you can see right here, it's about a quarter of an inch thick. And just to install this heel pad, we pressurize the area where the heel pad goes with about 40 tons of pressure for about 10 minutes. Once that heel pad has uh, um, been brought up, we put the, uh, the actual heel pad down, sew that around, stick it on there so it sits nice and flush with the rest of the mat. Well, I noticed with, uh, this is my set here from, for 996. Um, this is the mat from the 996. And what, what I had been experiencing is I would get out of the car, my, my foot would apply pressure to the mat and always twist and turn the mat. Right, so right. every time I got into the car, I had to straighten my mat. And I know Porsche has these pieces here that are attached to the floor, but as you can see, it always pops out and the Velcro, it's so-so. Right. So I always found you know, that it was always shifting and of course it could present uh, you know, a safety issue if Absolutely. it gets stuck underneath or um, your pedals, so on and so forth. But I can tell you after fitting these in, 
um, it really these nibs must lock into place because Absolutely. I mean I, I put it in I get in and out and it stays um, you know exactly in place which is pretty impressive right and that's you know one of the things we, a lot of thought goes into what we made here um, everything like you're saying the rubber nibs that we use we don't use a plastic PVC we don't use anything that's gonna have any kind of harmful effects on your car um, being that we designed our mass to work with you know pre a speedsters cars hundred two hundred thousand dollar examples all the way to brand new Ford Fiestas we didn't want to have any kind of detrimental effect on the carpets with the installation of our mats um, a two-piece set of our mats does weigh in anywhere from about 12 to 15 pounds. And it's that heft of the mats and the custom fibbing of them that keeps them in place. Now, for the purists that are out there uh, that have a pre-A speedster or a, or a 356 uh, A or B or C, um, we can actually manufacture our mats without the rubber backing, just like the originals. Now, again, it's not going to be the best for everyday driving. You're going to experience right. a lot of those issues that the original ones had. But it's also something that we can do, and currently the only people in the world that still can do that. And something that you mentioned, um, the thickness of it and, mm -hmm. and the heft of it, and that's something that I noticed immediately when the shipping box came. Yeah, right. I'm like, I, I can't remember what I ordered, but it's really heavy, and I opened it up <laughs> to see the floor mats. I'm like, wow. Compared to this factory mat, which is very thin and quite flimsy, mm -hmm. um, We'll weigh it later so we can give you some numbers just to tell you the difference in weight. But again, that heft allows it to stay in place. Absolutely. Now for those of you that have RS carpeting, you're probably not going to put mats in your car anyway. And this is probably not something that you would put right. in in, a, in an RS car that, that's uh, all about ounces and, and such. But um, you, you said that you could also do it without a backing, so mm -hmm. if those still want a cocoa mat in their car, absolutely. but want a lighter version of it, you can do it. So that's Without the back in yeah. Interesting. No, absolutely. The, the other thing that was, um, that I learned as, again, more than I need to know about floor mats now, a uh, wealth of information that I gained from your your uh, your website, is cocoa mats is a really a term for much like a velour mat. Absolutely. Cocoa mat, there are different manufacturers mm -hmm. of it. I know you mentioned and you brought some brochures that Porsche and BMW made their own factory cocoa mats before. Absolutely. I always thought it was one and the same. Mm -hmm. So tell me a little bit about your cocoa mats in terms of quality versus others that might be out there that are coined the same, but definitely not the same quality. Right, right. And that's, you know, it's a tough thing to do because at the same time as, you know, we all, we're always about supporting our product, but it's important to educate people that there is a difference between the two. Um, as you can see, this is one of our signature black and red, very popular color, signature heel pad binding rubber backing. Uh, what I have underneath here is actually one of the other cocoa mats. Um, as you can see, the uh, materials they use are subpar. The vinyl is a very thin vinyl. The stitching that they use is very close in. As, as I noticed, the heel pad is very thin. Very thin very heel pad. It's like a hard plastic. It's a hard plastic. Yeah. Uh, all, all they do is a single stitch around here. We have three stitches that go on the binding of our mats just to make sure the fibers don't fray, get loose, move, or anything like that. Um, the the backing. backing. Also a hard plastic. You can plastic. hurt someone with that. Yeah. <laughs> it's a real hard plastic over time that's going to rip and tear. If you have any kind of a square weave, like some of the original Porsches, yeah. a German square weave, this is going to get in that square weave and pull it apart. And then again, weight. weight. I mean, these are pretty, pretty feather light compared to these. <laughs> so I'm not sure that these would stay in place as well as, Absolutely. as yours. Absolutely. So in terms of quality, you know, it's a... Uh, uh, definitely you get what you pay for. You know, it's one of those things. Now, I know much like PCA, customer service uh, is what you guys are also all about. Absolutely. Uh, when I called down to place my order, I got a live person, and then you had the right questions. You're like, um, you know, did your car have this certain option mm -hmm. for a 996, let's say? Does it have a Bose? Is Absolutely. it a Cabriolet? Is it a Coupe? Because you have a wide range of patterns mm -hmm. that are specific to each vehicle. Absolutely, yeah. We pride ourselves on not having any kind of a generic fit uh, mat. Um, you know, really what we're all about is a custom, handmade, US made product. We're a family business. My brother and myself run the company. My sister comes in to shipping for us. During the summer, I get my two little nieces in there to work on our mats and uh, it's- Made with love. <laughs> that's right, exactly. Made with love in the USA, in Fort Mill, South Carolina. Very cool. Um, you know, and I, be, I really, like you said before, I do pride myself on being able to be there for our customers. If you have a question that I can answer, I'm there for you. If not, I'll find the answer for you. Um, custom designs, another big thing that we're really big on. Um, you know, we have a lot of customers with custom cars, mm -hmm. custom transmission tunnels, whatever else. 
If they're able to provide us a pattern, a paper pattern of what they want, we'll make the mat to their specifications and there's no additional cost for that. Very cool. And I think as because you do everything so custom, you know, naturally one would expect you could choose an option on what color, um, pattern and dots. But in addition to that, because you make these to order, mm -hmm. you can choose your stitching, Absolutely. your binding. Absolutely. Your I have an example pack. of that over here. This is uh, one of our Sisal materials. Now Sisal is a beautiful material seen a lot in home applications. Uh, Sisal comes from the agave plant, same plant that gives us tequila. And uh, basically with this material, and with all of our, our mats in general, we can change up the binding colors. Uh, normally we'd finish this with a uh, gray binding, like on this uh, mat right here. But we can change it up, do a black binding and a contrasting gray stitching to work in with the rest of the mat. This mat here doesn't have a heel pad, but we could also do a black or gray heel pad there as well. So as far as, you know, meeting what the customers are looking for, we're always happy to help within our means to uh, custom make it as much as they want. Now, the, the original mat here, this is from the coconut fibers, the shell Absolutely. of the coconut. Yep. This is from the gavi plant. You have mm -hmm. one more. We do. We do also do wool. Um, this is our premium New Zealand wool that we offer. Beautiful material. I run a set of these in uh, my uh, Mini Cooper during the uh, summer months because I like to wear flip flops mm -hmm. and uh, it just feels great on your feet when you're driving around. Who would have thought? So many different options. Yeah, for formats. New Zealand wool. And one of our uh, most popular mats that we're doing now, I actually have a large version of it over here, is our seagrass. And this is genuine ocean seagrass that uh, is woven into the uh, mat like material. We uh, custom sew it, bind it, everything like our regular mats, and it's just a beautiful, thick, nubby Let's material. Hold that up so everybody can see. It's got a nice pattern. Now this also has um, quite a bit of depth like the original mat, so that mm -hmm. when dirt and grime falls upon it, it can actually go into the crevices and be hidden until right. you're ready to vacuum it out or exactly. shake it. Exactly, and that's one of the main advantages of cocoa mats in general, is that um, with the weave pattern, it allows dirt to fall through the mat and then down to the bottom of the mat so you don't see it on a daily basis. Um, with your regular velour mat, uh, you can see every little piece of dirt, gravel that you pick up. I vacuumed this like two days ago. <laughs> and uh, it just, it just you, you can't get away from it. On a black velour mat, as nice as it is, it's always going to show that dirt. With the cocoa mats, the design of it falls through so you don't see it on a regular basis. When it comes time to clean them, pick them out, shake them out, put them back in, you're back in action. So you just shake them out or you could vacuum them? You could vacuum them. Um, you know, I definitely wouldn't suggest any kind of like pressure washing or anything like that. It really just isn't necessary. Okay. Um, you can use a damp wet cloth to clean any kind of dirt or fiber off there. And uh, other than that, they're, they're self-maintaining. So tell me about the, the dye, the mm -hmm. colors, um, the red and the black. Is there a durability, I guess, life, life? You know, it really depends on, on the user. Uh, just like anything that isn't made from steel or metal or carbon fiber, it's really gonna depend on how you use the mats and how hard are you are on the mats. Even things like uh, if you wear soft heel shoes or, or hard heel shoes. Um, I've had customers that have had them for a couple years. I've had customers that have had them for 18 years. Uh, it just really depends on the user. But a lot of things that we do and have developed in the mats are designed to make the mats last longer, such as the heel pads that we use being so thick. These are proprietary heel pads. No one else in the world makes these heel pads like mm. we do. Um, this is actually designed after a vintage Ferrari heel pad that a customer of ours was kind enough to let us cut off his factory mat, send it to our factory, wow. have replicated and made for us uh, specifically. We were on pins and needles waiting for that to come back. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so it did come back. We put it back on his factory Ferrari mat and uh, away he went and we made him a set of mats uh, in return. Um, but we use all natural vegetable dyes. Um, the cocoa material itself is a byproduct of coconuts mm -hmm. and um, helps support a lot of the cottage industry in India where cocoa is grown. Wow, so environmentally friendly. Absolutely. We try I to think you, me you mentioned this, this, this seagrass when right. it was a... Uh, I think this is a pattern for a, what'd you say? A, I think that's a Prius, exactly. A Prius. Yeah. So if you have a Prius, there you go. Perfect set green. of mats. Exactly. Perfect set of mats for them. You've garnered some interest from some individuals, mm -hmm. some celebrities, so tell mm -hmm. us a little bit about that. <laughs> well, uh, I definitely, uh, you know, I'm, I'm absolutely thankful to, uh, to Jay Leno. Jay Leno had me out to uh, his shop, to the Big Dog Garage uh, last year and was kind enough to uh, do a review on the mats and uh, got to hang out with him, see the garage, which of course was uh, the highlight of the trip. Um, but, uh, you know, people like that and, um, you know, primarily we uh, did some work with uh, Johan Bader of mm -hmm. the uh, Portrait Classic Portrait Classic, Center. yeah. Uh, excellent person, really nice guy to work with and, uh, of course, a lot of the premier uh, restoration places such as Road Scholars, 
John Wilhoyd of Wilhoyd Restorations in California, um, California Porsche Restoration, CPR. Um, so a lot of the people out there that know who we are, they use our products because if they're restoring a car to the specifications that they are selling for 80, 90, $100,000, they want a mat that is in line with that same quality. And you know, that's what we try to provide. And what I found even more attractive um, when I was researching the mats for, for my Cayenne was, you know, you could get a high quality mat such as this, but the prices, even though those cars are $80,000 on up, mm -hmm. um, these are actually quite affordable. Yeah, all of our prices stay the same, no matter whether it's a Ford or a Ferrari. You know, we always charge the same amount, flat amount, uh, no matter what we do. Well, thank you for bringing these by. Absolutely. Um, you mentioned Jay Leno's garage had right. a very cool name. What was the name? Uh, Big Dog Garage. Big Dog Garage. That's well, right. here's our garage, but we don't really have a name for it. So what we thought we would do is we would give away a set of Cocoa Mats to a PCA member and all we're, we're gonna ask you to do is to put your creative hat on and maybe submit a name for PCA's garage. So submit a name, I'll put some how-to information here. Um, submit a name for PCA's garage, we'll put your name in the hat to win a set for your Porsche. Absolutely, any year, any make, any model. There you go, thanks again. Thank you.